This blaze of glory of brilliant fireworks welcomes each new year in the Pikes Peak region. Hello, this is Alex Dreyer watching a new year being ushered in in a part of America that is fast becoming famous for doing the usual thing in the unusual way. Sitting in a natural basin, protected from extremes of weather both by Pikes Peak itself and by a high ridge to the north. Colorado Springs and the surrounding area enjoy bright sunshine, sparkling days and moderate nights that have made the Pikes Peak Wonderland a mecca for tourists the year round. One of the first things visitors notice is the exuberance, the fresh liveliness of the natives of Colorado Springs. If they ask, the visitors find that most of the people who live and work in this happy progressive community came here originally as tourists or as military personnel assigned to duty here and returned as soon as they could to become permanent residents. Dr. and Mrs. Morton, for instance, having spent part of his military service at nearby Fort Carson, Dr. Morton decided that Colorado Springs would be his future home. So after his tour of duty, he brought his wife, Mary, and their daughter, Joanne, to Colorado Springs to begin a new life. First, they registered in at the world-famous Broadmoor Hotel. This was Mrs. Morton's and Joanne's first visit to Colorado Springs, and Joanne, being a snow bunny at heart, had expected to find the area knee-deep in snow in January. Instead, she found that though the nights were downright nippy, the days were sunny and warm, and snow, when it did fall, soon melted away under the balmy daytime sun. However, her disappointment was short-lived because the Broadmoor makes its own snow. Makes and keeps a good deep bed of snow on Ski Broadmoor. Furthermore, ski enthusiasts, by a short drive, can reach the upper slopes of Pikes Peak, a world-famous Aspen, Winter Park, Breckenridge, Vale, and many other excellent winter-long ski areas. In addition, Ski Broadmoor is the only night-lighted ski slope in Colorado. The usual things, in unusual ways. While skiers on nearby Ski Broadmoor were thrilling to skiing at its best, Doc Morton was enjoying many rounds of golf, and Joanne and Mrs. Morton were swimming in the Broadmoor's heated outdoor pool open the year-round or basking in the warm Colorado sun. Yes, in this enchanted region, there's no telling what wondrous things you might see. And wherever you look at any time of the year, there are spectacular scenic views to admire. might even see movies being made. Another winter sport that Joanne was able to pursue was ice skating at the Olympic-sized Broadmoor World Arena. Here she met many young people, older people, couples and singles, all enjoying the exhilarating sport of skimming around the ice. Another example of continued progress near to the professor's heart is that of his beloved Colorado College. 
He has watched it grow from that little liberal arts college out west to its eminence today as one of the finest in the country. The prof has seen the men who guide the military might of our country choose this area for Fort Carson and for the site of the United States Air Force Academy. Encompassing almost 20,000 acres, the Air Force Academy is, in effect, a city in itself. That area abounds in superlative examples of advanced architecture and consists of the cadets' quarters, classrooms, gymnasiums, parade grounds, an observatory, auditorium, and the beautiful chapel. Two million visitors each year thrill to watching the cream of American youth as they march in matchless precision in their daily formations. Only the best can qualify for admission to the academy, and only the best of the best graduate in the stirring ceremonies at the end of their four-year training and education. The Air Academy is a living testimonial to America's might, readiness, and progress. Another is Ant Air Base, which is headquarters for NORAD, the air defense center of the North American continent. The headquarters for this amazingly complex, fast-reacting system is buried deep within the rocky fastness of Cheyenne Mountain. To Professor Adams, the selection of the Pikes Peak area for important military installations was the most logical selection that could have been made. He knows, too, that it's the logical choice for the site of many types of industry and business. The perfect place to live and play. Yes, perhaps better than anyone else, Professor Adams knows how much the Pikes Peak region offers. He has seen it grow from a sleepy little tourist town to a bustling vacationer's paradise the year round. Has seen it become an ideal convention site offering endless variety of accommodations, good food, as plain or fancy as appetite dictates, a choice of meeting spaces for groups large or small. And of all the traditions and history of the area, the professor has enjoyed most. Watching those who come here discover time to live and adopt the philosophy that there are no strangers in Colorado Springs, only friends you haven't met yet. This then is the story of four men, their families, their associates. These men, the thousands like them and all the people of the region, invite you to come to the Pikes Peak area. Come as a tourist guest for the greatest vacation you've ever spent. Come as a conventioner or as advanced man to find out about all the region offers for a successful convention. Come as a businessman to see what the area can do for your business, your industry. Talk to Colorado Springs businessmen, to the bankers, to the policemen, the service station attendants, to the people. You'll find they all share a zestful living a genuine warmth and friendliness because they have something they'd like to share with you. Time to work, time to play, time to rest. This is the place where there is time to live. <laughs>